Hey you guys, I had so many expectations for this video and I was so excited and just up for it and it was a fail because what it was, I wanted to do a um, training for Survivor because I'm always wanting, telling the kids I would love to go on Survivor but I don't know if I could handle all of the um, the uh, icky foods, you know, when they, when they have to just put them in, um, just like eat raw octopus or whatever so I was gonna do all that and when we were in New York I had had experience going to a Korean grocery store where I mean it's like heaven on earth for Koreans I think because it is I've never seen such so so much variety in in every kind of meat product every kind of um, fish every kind of innard you know thing that you wouldn't I wouldn't like and um, and then the vegetables and everything is just unbelievable the Korean grocery store is called H Mart a little plug for Korean grocery stores but um, there I went around looking I went to, I thought I had no knew where there was a, um, a close Asian store and it turned out to be an Indian store and and that Indian store had nothing gross in it. I mean, it just had a bunch of spices. And then I went to our grocery store and then the Cuban grocery store named Sedano's and I couldn't find anything, so fail. But, so then I thought, well, let me tell the latest Alvarez things that are happening and that we have had something traumatic happen within the last couple of days. Very, very traumatic. Some of you might know about it from Facebook and stuff. You know the little pug. Timmy's had our pug Gizzy. He calls him Iggy in our um, in his videos, and and I've shown Gizzy uh, I think once or twice. And well, anyway, the other day, um, Gizzy, wait, what was it? Sarah woke me up at like five in the morning, weeping because because Gizzy had gone limp in her arms. What had happened was was Sarah woke up to Gizzy throwing up and then all of a sudden while she was cleaning up the throw up Gizzy just collapsed and oh my goodness and while Sarah, it, it upset Sarah so much that Sarah went to the bathroom to um, to vomit because it it upset her so much and I don't think she actually vomited but she attempted and um, while she was doing that I held Gizzy in my arms and I'm telling you Gizzy was was limp she, and then and then she her tongue started to stick out and her her jaw was locked and so we rushed her thank God we've got a wonderful vet just um, about 10 minute drive from us that is 24 7 and um, and so we went to the vet and they took her in their arms and they told us that she was moments away from death I mean they could hardly find her vitals on on the um, actual um, monitors or whatever they do you know they they could hardly she was moments away from death and they could hardly get a catheter into her because everything had was shutting down and so we we were praying and everybody in our family was praying and then Jose put it on Facebook and we had so many people praying and oh my goodness she started to revive by the time because I, I went with Alan Sarah had her boyfriend Alan who lives about 20 minutes away from us she had him meet us at the vet so Al by the time we left it was a miracle um, I'm telling you God cares. God cares about everything. It says in the Bible, He cares if He knows if a sparrow falls. Well, it's true. He cares. And I'm telling you that, that He answered our prayers. She not only, by the time we left to, and went into, they let us go in and say goodbye to her because she had to stay overnight. By the time we left, she was sitting up and she then stood up to to greet us and she was her face she saw us whereas before she didn't even recognize us she had she almost she had death in her eyes and bees so anyway and then then everybody because Gizzy had to stay another night 
and have a, um, we thought, all the doctors thought by the way she's acting and everything, and we need more prayers, by the way, because, um, and I'm asking you guys to lift up prayers for a little gizzy, because um, what happened by the, so all the doctors, she spent the night and all the doctors were saying that, that oh, no, 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 no. It was by the end of that morning, by the end of the day, the doctors were saying, she can come home. I'm sure she can come home. Let's just do one more test to find out how she is. Well, guess what? Even though all the doctors were sure because she showed no signs of anything wrong with her, but then um, what happened was they did this final little test on her, on her liver and because they thought maybe she had eaten something toxic, you know, and all of that. And before her, the actual test was high. It was um, a thousand enzymes or something. And then, then it was with the medicine they had given her, it was supposed to go down, but they did a retest right before we were supposed to go in and pick her up to bring her home because she was acting like so hyper again, just like her old self. And, um, and it was, 2300 it had gone up not down so anyway we are still believing for a complete miracle what god started he's going to finish and so i'll have to fill you in later because we're believing with all of our heart and um anyway and then sarah because the expenses you know for her were so and alan you know were climbing by the moment and Gizzy was going to have to stay in another day and do another ultrasound. And so, um, you know, the, they didn't know if they could afford that. So somebody suggested they do a thing of um, GoFundMe or something online. And people have been donating. And it, it's just been, we're so amazingly grateful. Her costs are being covered and we're so grateful. We couldn't be more grateful. Thank you everybody for your prayers and, and for um, the, the contributions, we're so grateful. And I wanted to tell another miraculous story about our, our little Chihuahua, well not ours, Riley used to live with us when Hannah lived with us, but Riley is Teddy. You all have met Teddy. Um, Teddy is our little black and white Chihuahua and his actual birth brother from the same litter who looks completely different than him. He's brown and Teddy's ears are down and, and Riley's ears are up and they look completely different, but they're actual blood brothers. Riley um, has had his own miracle miracles a couple of them but one in particular let me tell you about it happened um was it over a year ago or a couple months back about a half a year ago i'm not sure it doesn't matter anyway it was after hannah and juan went to live in virginia and took riley with them um over the week a couple of weeks time riley stopped playing with his toys and then he um he started to act funny in, until finally he was like walking like an old man, you know, and he's young and he was just, you know, walking like an old man and he was um, not only not playing with his toys, but also he started to have spots like uh, bruises on his body. And now Hannah says she would have known because she's, she's almost a qualified nurse. She's, she's in nursing school. But um, by Christmas time, she will have graduated and she's, she's done so well. We're so grateful and proud of her. But anyway, um, but anyway, back then she didn't know the symptoms of bleeding internally. And so finally, they, when they took him to the vet, the vet was saying they didn't give him any chance to live. They, um, he, they said that they, they asked if he had eaten rat poison. It was that bad. They couldn't imagine that he had, they had never put down rat poison. And then they, um, they asked if he had been hit by a car. It was that bad. The mo what they can figure out is that maybe he fell off the bed, but they don't remember. But anyway, anyway, the vet didn't give him any chance to live. And, um, in fact, Hannah and Juan could not afford to keep him in there any longer. They just didn't have money to cover any of the expenses of what they were talking about. And so 
the vet, they just decided to take Riley home and the vet even had them sign a release form because they didn't want to be held liable, responsible, because it was so serious. And, but they prescribed um, steroids, I think, and they prescribed um, vitamin K. So they went home and they were, I mean, it was the most tearful time for all of us. We all love Riley so much. And we just put it up on Facebook and we're praying, 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 praying. And a miracle happened. Riley was at death's door. And just like, you know, Gizzy, it was like Riley was at death's door and and he just got better and better. All the bruises went away and he became normal. It, it's a, a literal, absolute miracle. So we are so grateful to God and to everybody's prayers. So thank you so much. And please, if you think about it, just shoot up a prayer for complete recovery for Gizzy as what happened to Riley. So anyway, maybe one day I will find an Asian re a, a grocery store and be able to do my survivor training. But, um, that's all for now. Love you guys. Bye.